welcome to my home. Welcome to my simple way of living. And welcome to my life. This is Tessie and this is Homestead Tessie Country Living. This is another Amish video and the title of this recipe actually is the title of the recipe. I didn't make up the title myself. It is Lydia Miller's Amish Turkey Casserole. And I'll share with you the recipe in the description box below. As I'm working on these Amish meals, I am always sharing the recipe written in the description box below. So I'm gonna just read off the ingredients and you can watch me make it because I am going to add my own touch to it. I'm gonna add some things and I'm gonna admit some things as well. So the recipe is follows. Two cups of turkey, one half cup of celery, one half cup of green peppers, one half cup onion, one half cup mayonnaise, one half teaspoon salt, one four teaspoon of pepper, six slices of bread, one and a half cups of milk, a can of cream mushroom soup, one fourth cup of cheese and three eggs. I'm going to be omitting the mayonnaise since I don't have that. And I'm also gonna be omitting the celery since I don't have that. I am not going to the grocery store these days. I am using what I've got. But I do have a little bit of leftover garlic, so I'm gonna add the garlic to the recipe. And I'm adding a half a pound of peas because I think the recipe seems rather blah and it should have some kind of color to it. So I'm gonna be adding some peas. So let's get started. But before we start, I wanna give a shout out to Sally. Thank you so much, Sally, for this beautiful little mixing bowl. We're gonna use it today. She also gave me a mat that I can use when I'm baking all of my pies and kneading my bread, and the mat is below as well. So thank you so much, Sally, for this, and I will cherish it, and thank you so much for the candy as well. All right, everyone, let's get started in the video. I don't use exact measurements. I am just gonna go by eyesight, and we're gonna put the turkey in. So here we have the peppers, we also have some spring onions, which I'm just cutting the tops off of the onions. We're going to add one can of cream of mushroom soup. Now, a lot of these Amish recipes call for cream of mushroom soup. That is just what they call for. So if you have your own homemade, that would be great. But the Amish use a lot of cream soups. The Mennonite cooking also, they have comfort food. Everything is comfort food. So we're gonna add our salt and pepper. It's a half teaspoon of salt and a fourth teaspoon of pepper. And now in the bowl that Sally gave, we're gonna go ahead and we are going to mix up the milk and mix up the eggs. One and a half cups of milk. And we're gonna add three eggs. All right, now we're gonna cut up in cubes six slices of bread. All right, we're gonna put our cubed bread. Now, I probably wouldn't have needed such a big bowl, but I love these big mixing bowls that I have. So we're just gonna break up the cubed bread. Now, preferably, this needs to sit in the refrigerator overnight, but I am not gonna do that today. We're going to make it right away. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it a little bit. It does not say how long it bakes, nor does it say if you're supposed to have the casserole covered. Well, I am not gonna cover it. So we're not gonna cover it. I assume you wanna have a crust on top, so we're not gonna cover it. Make sure we get all the peas and everything out of here. So far, I am loving these meals. This is the second one in the series, and they are really good. I have never made these meals before. These are new to me. So Lydia Miller's Amish Turkey Casserole. I'm gonna put it in at 350, and I'll put it in for about 30 minutes. This Amish sure know how to cook and bake, so we'll see if it's as good as it sounds. It sure does look good. And adding some red peppers, 
really just sets off the color and adding peas. You know, you could probably even add carrots or green beans with this. I really like having color in my meals and also having vegetables in your meal. This way you can serve it all at one time. You don't have all the dishes and it's a great way to put vegetables in your meal. All right, everyone, we'll see you in just a few moments. Doesn't it look yummy? Woo! Looks great. All right, everyone, it's finished. Let's give it a try. It looks really good. It smells good. It could have been in maybe another five minutes longer. Honestly, it looks like filling. It looks like stuffing. So we're gonna give it a try. Yum, yum. Like I said, I never made this before. Wow, that is great. Meal number two, the Amish meals. Oh, it's amazing. Wow, it's really, really good. I'm a little surprised the flavor and how tasty it is. Now, this isn't diet food. This is comfort food. Gardening is a workout, but it's so good to get outside and feel the fresh air. It's chilly today, which is nice because when the summertime comes, it just gets so hot. So it's nice to be out when it's a little cool. I'm getting everything done and it feels really good. <laughs> and chickens love the weeds. Oh, they love them. Look at them eat that. Don't worry, they'll get it.
right, so now we're gonna work on the job I dislike the most in gardening, and it's this. <sighs> this is very tedious, and I don't do good with things like this. So here is all of our seedlings. Now we gotta go ahead and we gotta take them out. I'll show you how we do this. And one seedling goes into one of these. And it's extremely tedious. This will take me hours to do. But it has to be done. So we go ahead and do one at a time. And you try to fill as much dirt as you possibly can. Now they will wilt just a little bit. They will perk up though in 24 hours because they're out in the hot sun and they're not used to that. So they will wilt a little bit. But this is how it is when you want to have your own tomatoes. And this way makes beautiful, nice tomato plants. All right, I am not going to be recording this for two hours. So I'll show you when these are finished. These tomato seeds came from Italy and they are a tomato paste for canning. All right, I'll show you what they look like in a couple days. They look really wilted now, but you won't believe in about three days what they're gonna look like. Hey, if you like videos like these, take a look. Take a look at all these other videos I have sharing with you my life here on the homestead.